Atypical treatments are those treatments that are just outside of the normal funding that's available for each patient through their insurances, whether it's Medicare or VA funding or some insurance. And so these are treatments that might be like a blood transfusion or the Trilogy vent, things that are not typical for a normal hospice patient, but things that greatly improve a person's quality of life. We met in Bellingham and he worked for the Forest Service out at Glacier. And then we bought a little house in Deming and fixed it up and had our family. And then we moved to Skagit County after about seven years uh, to this house and we've lived here 28 years. ALS is a devastating disease that uh, knocks out the nerves to our muscles and it doesn't just knock out the nerves to our, our muscles in our arms and legs but actually the muscles that we need to breathe. And so as his disease progresses, he has more and more trouble getting a breath. And, he, and like lots of hospice patients, we, watch, um, we watched his goals change as his disease progressed. And he needed his breath at the beginning of his hospice stay to get out and connect with nature. That was his most important goal. He needed to get out and see the trees and hear the birds and feel a part of that. Having um, this ability to move this machine and have it so versatile is without a question makes life so much better for both of us. Um, it means for a man who spent about 35 years in the woods, it's quite a lift for him to be able to pick up and go and down that ramp and out in the yard and out on the road and into the car with the trilogy hooked up and off we'd go to go look at birds. We looked at eagles and snow geese, which come in by the thousands this time of year. Without the donors, we would not have the freedom to go and look at birds or for Ed to get on his electric wheelchair with this attached because he could not do it without it. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.